I can't make that decision for you. We're getting on deadline. This is fine. He's right in front of me. We're taking heat on this kid thing, specifically your part. What heat? A Lieutenant Horst called, grumbling about your unwillingness to talk to the police. He wanted to do it on the phone. How do I know he's a cop? We think you should cooperate. I am cooperating. I have a job to do, too. I can't wander over to the station for a couple of hours. Traffic is a mess. They're shorthanded. I can see his point. Can't you see mine? Channel 8 is doing a commentary on us. They accuse you of everything short of hitting the kid yourself. They call the situation a despicable act of a dying newspaper. They're devoting three full minutes to your hit and run. All this even before the KLM thing, which I hear they have great footage on, and still, they're putting us and you ahead of it. That's how hot they are for us, capped by a commentary calling for your resignation. Derringer wants the appearance of punishment on this. Only the appearance? I have to check on Bernie. We're not doing the kid's story. What the hell are you talking about? It's a caption and picture. I told you to talk to him. You knew about this story. You never offered any contrary wisdom. All of a sudden, you're looking for wisdom? I got an OK from you, Muff. I got permission to send Penn. Well, there you are. You chose the wrong man. It deserves more than a caption. I told you to talk to him. Demi, sit down. Want a Twizzler? Why kill the hit and run? Combined with our closing announcement, your action today looks incredibly tasteless to the public and to the journalistic community. TV's all over this. I made the decision to run a caption. It deserves more. It does. We'd run the kid's mug if you got the shot. But you didn't. Your whole team fell down on this one, Danny. Bernie has the story. Timothy Penn has the story. It would be inadvisable to push this any further, given the circumstances. I can't change your mind. The picture's been dummied, page 17. Is it a good picture? You know Dunkirk. If the kid had been run over in a stadium and the cops had numbers on their jerseys, he would have gotten the shot. So a whole team of fuck-ups, huh? Fuck-ups and one traitor. Should I bother coming to work tomorrow? Actually. Actually. I was hoping you'd be offended, Danny, and resign. I'm out of a job in two weeks. Why resign? Somebody's got to take the hit on this. I'm taking mine to nine on the 10 o'clock news. I need the severance. I don't think I did anything particularly terrible. I was being cautious. I got to catch a train. Resign, and we'll talk settlement. Talk first. All right. Resign will give you an extra month severance. I'll resign for an extra month severance plus a $15,000 resignation bonus. Are you insane, Danny? If I'm gonna take the hit on this, I wanna get paid for it. This is my death sentence. Extra month severance, no bonus. Extra month severance is non-negotiable. We're quibbling only over the one-time value of my services. I can't get you 15,000, maybe five. I'll see you tomorrow. We don't want you back, Danny. Take a long weekend. It's Monday. Call me in the morning, let things cool down overnight. If I go home, you won't take my call. You'll lock me out of the building and keep my money. <laughs> you want to check right this moment? I've been here nine years. I'll resign for severance based on Lucy's salary plus a $5,000 resignation bonus. You agree to those terms and promise not to fuck me over when I get outside? I have to get back to you about the bonus. I can't leave until you do. We worked together too long for me to cheat you. We'll do a deal. 
Why am I afraid to walk out of your office? Go home, Danny. Go be with your kids. It's Halloween. <laughs>